Austin Regional Clinic is an independently owned, physician-owned, multi-specialty practice. It has 23 primary care sites, but 33 clinics overall. We have a wide range of specialties involved in Austin Regional Clinic's practice, including cardiology. Um, Austin Regional Clinic for Northwest Hills offers cardiology and gastroenterology specifically. We have six cardiologists who practice um, at this location specifically. Overall, Austin Regional Clinic sees over a million visits per year. What we look for in a collaboration with Biotel specifically was mostly communication and flexibility. We wanted a partner that was going to be able to really work with us and meet our needs, especially with the doctors who are wanting to order Holters. We wanted a organization that was able to help us build the relationship between primary practice and cardiology specifically. And we were looking for an organization that was going to be able to really meet the needs of our patients and meet the needs of the doctors. And Biotel just seemed to fit those needs. The biggest success of this collaboration was building the relationship between primary care and cardiology. So one of the issues we had with some of the older reports from other practices is whatever the computer grabbed is what was sent to us. So essentially you had to go back and look at the whole report again and then distill it into something that was clinically relevant. Exactly. And so here's this report that has more meaning. I mean, I've been practicing since 1986. I have never had a report that gave me more information that I could share with a patient. That last line that talks about clinical relevance, that means everything to the PCP. So on a Sunday, I get a message. I don't just get something in my inbox that is, this is the result of your e-patch. I get a secure chat message and it says, you know, this patient had this, this thing that could be an arrhythmia that maybe you want to get an echocardiogram, uh, perhaps after that a cardiology consult, um, uh, maybe you want to go ahead and increase her metoprolol. It was, it was amazing. I called the patient, she came in that week. I basically had a cardiology consult start that I could then turn over that by the time that person got to the cardiologist, they had had the first couple of steps done. And then a majority of the time, I get something bad that says there's no significant arrhythmia here and I can reassure myself and the patient and start whatever treatment is necessary. And that's huge in a primary care office. The cardiologists are able to communicate with directly to the primary care physicians in terms of um, how to treat their patients or what the next steps would be. So they really cut that time in between at least two to three days. So our physician loved the availability and the integration, um, the access at the time of the care, the integration within EPIC. Uh, our staff are always excited about helping patients and learning uh, something new uh, that provide values and care and access to our patients. So not only did we implement um, a very important project, we gained some additional functionality that we can use on other projects. What was a success for me is once the interface piece was done and getting the report back from Biotel and it's just there in the chart without anyone having to scan in was a big win, at least for me. And the fact that the um, cardiologists were quite comfortable going into the Biotel portal and monitoring that and doing, you know, doing the reads and getting it um, back into the chart as quickly as possible. So they didn't come with a fixed idea that this is the way you implement it, this is the only way uh, it works and they've been also receptive to our suggestion about could we change the workflow this way, could we change the reporting in that way. Uh, so I think that have been very helpful for us to compare notes, uh, for us to adjust our workflow and, and, uh, and implementation uh, process. But having the experience of somebody who actually mastered that, that uh, uh, niche of uh, healthcare uh, uh, services and then explaining to them what we're trying to achieve and let the two combine together has been very helpful. 
So two-way uh, integration between our EHR and Biotel is critical to the success. One, from an efficiency and workflow. Two, from speed and quality of the care. So we don't have to, our staff don't have to leave Epic uh, or our EHR uh, system to go into a Biotel portal to enter the order and then go and extract that and then print it and fax it and scan it into Epic. Biotel met with us to give us a summary page that was actually useful. From a patient satisfaction, provider satisfaction and access is great. You, you know, we have the integration through Epic and we have the relationship and the partnership. We get the results, one of our cardiologists read it, give this physician, result back to the primary care physician, back to the patients, sometimes all within a week. It could be done with their primary care physician at the time of their visit, they didn't have to see a cardiologist do an additional visit if they didn't want to. I think they appreciated all of that. On top of, you know, unlike other organizations, Biotel has a good customer service team. So any questions that they had, if they needed additional patches, they could just call the 1-800 number and they were able to get that facilitated so quickly. That was a very strong component to why we chose them because they were great at answering billing questions and great at the customer service aspect. We're getting the results back a lot quicker with the integration. So cardiologists are able to read the Holters and are able to get back to the primary care physicians quicker.